Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Mesolite Visual. Today we're going to look at uh, the cantilevered staircase design. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so and hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. So we're going to start this exercise by looking at uh, what I have here on the screen. is the design of a stair treat, a cantilevered stair treat. Hence is the significant feature of this uh, staircase design. What I have here is the two examples of uh, the treat in detail. The first one is the in composition of the steel support and the uh, finishing, the stair treat finishing uh, timber material. This side is the is the railing, the glass railing fixing mechanism that also uh, fixed the that also fixed the the finish to the steel support. So if you check on the three D. So this is what we have. Um, this is exactly how it's supposed to be um, assembled. This is an exploded view of the arrangement of the assembly of these components. So in this case, we're going to use this one already. It has all the components in place. So to do so, let's go back to our plan view. And then in this, we're going to use uh, the stair tool to place our stair. So let us click on the stair tool. You can just pick any design here. Doesn't matter. We already have a cantilevered staircase here, but this is not what we want. What we want is more complex here than what we have here in this uh, default template. So I'll draw or place a stair, just a straight flight, like so. And then you can go ahead and set up your pen set, your pen style, just the way I did for these ones. But for the sake of this demonstration, we'll leave it as it is. So what we need to do is to copy the stair treat together with, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to, um, introduce these members here. They're going to be uh, the rise and anchoring bolts that we're going to fix the steel support to the steel plates to the concrete wall, if you understand what I'm saying. So if you don't understand, don't worry. You understand during the course of this uh, demonstration. So what I'll do, I'll select both the treat and the rising anchoring bolts to move it Let's move them and uh, place it to the first tread on our staircase. Make sure the position is, is perfect. I'll move it right on the top of the edge to have that. And then the fixing, the fixing, um, sorry, the anchoring bolts, they're gonna be also be positioned something like that. There. It's position is subject depending on how you're going to place the the uh, steel blade. So for now, let's just leave it uh, the way it is, and then um, check on the three D. How is the everything perfect? Now I'm impressed with the position of everything. So what I need to do, I need to switch off. Um, or delete some of the components of this staircase. Hence, we don't need that. The first one is the structure, and then the risers are also a problem. So let's do that. Select the staircase, go to settings, and then under the structure, we're going to um, switch or enable the structure just to remain with the riser and uh, the tree. So I'm going to do edit as well here, and then I'm going to select all of the the risers by using these uh, dots. I don't know what you call them, but they're just three dots. I'm using them to select all the um, risers and then I'm going to enable the risers here also. Perfect. Now we are left with, let's exit the edit mode. We are left with only the trees and then we're going to transfer this information we have here of a, a state treat that is constructed using a basic tools like a slab. These are just slabs and a morph. This is just a morph. 
So I'm going to transfer this information into this uh, tree. To do so, let's go back to our plan view, and then we're going to select our um, state tree uh, composition. So from here, go to file, let's go to libraries and objects, save selection as a, a state tree, right? And then I already have something like a state tree. There, I'll replace this one. Let me just replace this. Start to have just a new tree to one, then save, replace. So from here, this the graphic. Will, will you have the graphic uh, representation of your staircase in the screen. So what you need to do is to click on the right, uh, um, on the center of your staircase like that, on the starting point, and then click. Then make sure you align it to vertically to your staircase flight, just like that. And then this window pop out. It wants us to temper with the attributes of your stay treat. But for the sake of this demonstration, I will add, inherit the ones that comes with the model. I think they are perfect. Now hit OK. From there, let's go back to our 3D window, and then let's select our our staircase. Edit. Select all the treats select all the trees like so then come here under treat settings let's change this treat to the newly created uh treat one double click on it boom it will apply all these trees to the our staircase sorry let's exit the editing mode so i think for for this part here to make sense, let us apply or do the, the steel blade. We're going to use a railing uh, tool to do that. So um, pick your railing tool. There we go. You can pick any railing uh, designs you have here on the default library. And then you can place it either here or on the ground uh, plane. So what I'll just do, I'll just do it here on the 3d what i'll do click on click hold your click hold your space bar key like so and then you apply just like that perfect we have this so this is just a railing it's not a, what we want what we want is just a solid steel or a structural steel blade that will be that this uh, treat steel support will be uh, welded on it and then it's, it will be anchored on the concrete wall using these uh, anchoring bolts, bolts and nuts. It makes sense. I don't know how to explain it uh, better than this, but I, I hope you can see it, what I'm trying to say. So yeah, let's do that. I'll select the, the railing and then uh, what I'll do, I'll switch off everything except the the panels. I'll remove everything except the panels. What I'll do, go to edit, and then I'll delete that. Then select this, go to its settings. Let's switch off the fixing support. Just like that. And then what we need to do is to change the material of this to represent metal. Go back and then go to panel settings. Oh, sorry. No. Under here, let's go this way and find materials. Uh, still structural. And then you can override the surface. Just, just override by using the stainless steel. Perfect. This is what we have. Now, the, the, the challenge we are having is too big for being a steel plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop it down to accommodate the position of the, the anchoring points, as you see. And then also we, we reduce the height of it. We can start by dropping it down, if it's possible here. So yeah, we can also do it here. The segment on the top, we reduce it to maybe something like 550 get the point and then uh, I don't see the one for segment let's say minus 
150. No, this one doesn't work. Let's go to the settings and do it here under panel settings. Um, no, no, sorry, we had to exit the exit mode and the edit mode, and then we do it here. Um, minus 100 oh, should be minus 150. Let's see. I think pretty cool. So when, another thing that we need to fix is the position. It has to be flashing with, uh, or it has to be connected to this um, uh, trade steel support. So what I'll do, uh, move it here by, is it 50? Negative 50, one, one is zero. Yeah, perfect, zero, I think it's perfect now. As you can see now, we have connection of our steel support to the steel blade. And then that's how the anchoring bolts will be positioned. Pretty cool, right? It's perfect. So another thing that we need to do is um, the, we can get rid of our, our, our slab because it served its purpose. Let's just get rid of it. So it served its purpose. Just delete it. And then let's place our glass railing right in the middle of this fixing support, I mean fixing mechanism. So we're going to use again the railing tool. Pick your railing and then do the same magic wand or hit the Space bar, like so. Oh, sorry, like so. Then place it. Um, this is just a plane or a frameless uh, glass railing. So what we need to do is to um, edit it to accommodate our design. So I think there are a lot of things that need to be changed here. Let's select it and then go to edit. One thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take out this fixing. So select it. Let's go to its settings, fixing it out. And then, okay. Another point is the railing. I should select even that side. Perfect, go to railing. Then I'm gonna change it to something like this or that. The material is perfect. The fixing is out. That's how it's supposed to be. And then okay. I think there will be a challenge on this part, but it can be solved by adding. Uh, um, okay, let's do this. Let's exit here. And then let's go to settings. I'm going to add the connections, the ends. So I'm going to add the straight one. That will be around uh, maybe 10. And then the it's going to be vertically uh, sloped. And then hit OK. We might reduce that little kink there to something like five or six yeah i think it's perfect i think it's perfect perfect another thing that we need to do is the positioning of this as you can see it has to be right in the center of this fixing uh, mechanism so i'm gonna just use what is it zero no i think it's negative or oh, 25 that's 25 25 let's see yeah perfect perfect there we go pretty cool right this is our cantilever uh, uh, staircase design how it's supposed to be another thing that we uh, need to do is the the concrete wall um is the concrete wall because this still um Anchoring uh, blade is supposed to be hidden in the concrete by the finish of that concrete wall. So I have an example here. 
that is representing that. So if you want, um, so this is an example of what I'm trying to say. Let's check on the check on the delete. Let me just show all. It has to be clean like this, as you can see on this uh, in this uh, example. And then if you look at there in the middle of the, that's where you see your 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 steel plate and cutting points right there, in between your 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 concrete wall and the concrete finish. So if you look at the drawings, let's go to the layouts and see how it's been assembled so that's that will be your your skin your plaster skin and then the concrete this will be your the steel blade going all the way so all this um fixing or uh, cutting bolts and nuts are hidden as you can see so so if you want this file guys you can i'll put the link in the description so you guys are going to download it so it has everything like all the details you would want for for your design we came to the end of our tutorial guys thank you thank you once again for tuning in i'll see you in the next video make sure you check on this file or i'll put the link in the description like i said and i'll also put the link of um, all architect resources by the way there is a website launch that is coming soon this website will be the uh, a platform of unlimited architect resources, unlimited architect beam resources available online ever. So don't want to miss out. Stay tuned for that. Um, uh, the launch uh, dates will be availed soon. Um, we're still working on everything to put uh, everything in place. It has to be a best experience, guys, for you for that website.